now, my name is Nick from Board Game Brawl, and this is your Kickstarter update. First off, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you have a fantastic 2015. Also, by the time you're watching this, the Dice Tower Kickstarter should be up. So I feel, since I do the Kickstarter update, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that, but I'm sure Tom will go into great length about it. Furthermore, you should definitely check out his video that he did on Kickstarter over the weekend, talking about some of the biggest hit Kickstarters from 2013 that had an impact on 2014 and going forward into the future. It was a really great and interesting video. For my part today, I'm going to go through the top 10 most funded Kickstarters of 2014, accepting any like uh, RPGs or just straight up miniatures or terrain uh, Kickstarters. These are just for board games or miniature slash board games. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Number 10 is the Tuscany expansion for the excellent game Viticulture from Stonemaier Games. It made over $450,000 on Kickstarter. Can't wait to get my copy of it. Number nine is Dust Operation Babylon from Dust Studios. I don't know much about this one, but it made over 469,000 and the miniatures look pretty cool, so somebody must like it. Number eight is Dreadball Extreme, the sequel to Dreadball from Mantic Games, who makes their living ripping off games from the Games Workshop. This one made over $575,000, so I guess somebody must like Mantic. Number seven is the Tokaido Collector's Edition from Fun Forge, which made over $668,000. I can't wait for this. I love Tokaido, and I can't wait to get the beautiful Collector's Edition. Number six is the most recent entry on this list. It's Rum and Bones from Cool Mini or Not, which made $739,000. I didn't really care for it because I'm not into pirates, but it did have awesome miniatures. Number five is Arcadia Quest, also from Cool Mini or Not, which made over $774,000. This one is already out and at retail, and it is fantastic. I urge you to check it out. Number four is Merc's Recon from Merc's Miniatures, which made over $816,000. This one looks cool, but hopefully it's better than this company's previous title, Myth. Number three is another ugly derivative game from Mantic, and that is Dungeon Saga, A Dwarf King's Quest, which is our first game to come in over a million dollars at one million fifty-seven thousand. Number two is my personal favorite Kickstarter campaign of the year, and that is Super Dungeon Explorer Forgotten King, which made one million one hundred and fifty some thousand dollars. I haven't actually got the game in my hands yet, but I love Super Dungeon Explorer, and this campaign was run right. No early birds, no exclusives, simple pledge tiers. Kickstarter creators, take note. And finally, no surprise here, our number one most funded campaign of 2014 was Zombicide Season 3 from Cool Mini or Not, almost reaching $3 million with $2,849,000. This included the standalone game Rue Morgue and the expansion pack Angry Neighbors. And if it says Zombicide on the box, it's going to make money. My name is Nick from Board Game Brawl. This has been your Kickstarter update. Let's see what 2015 has in store for Kickstarter Tabletop Gaming. You can check me out at youtube.com forward slash Board Game Brawl. Happy New Year to all of you. Check out the Dice Towers Kickstarter. And I am reminding you to get out there and game every day and in every way. Take care.